Good morning, students. Welcome again to BBA First Semester Unit Four: Staffing, Directing, Coordinating, Controlling Functions of Management. Earlier videos we understood about uh, staffing, directing, controlling. In controlling, a concept called as motivation, which is very important to our life. In that concept, we understood a theory given by Abraham Maslow, which is a need hierarchy theory. Another theory is also given by Hesburgh, that is hygiene theory or two-factor theory. In this video, we are going to understand two theories. One is a Hedgeworks two-factor theory. Another one is uh, McGregor's uh, theory X and uh, Y. Okay, students. Now we are understanding about the theory of uh, Hedgeworth. That is two-factor theory of motivation. So this is regarding the videos which we earlier we had. At present we are in fifth video. Fifth video. Maslow theory is completed in earlier video. Now we are understanding about Hesburgh and uh, X and Y theories. Next uh, video we are going to understand about uh, coordination. Right. So fifth unit also we learned through videos that was divided into six units and uh, six videos. So all videos I will upload. Please go through. And this will be reference for until the exams are over. Okay, students. Now we are going to understand Hedgeworth's two-factor theory of motivation. Okay. Earlier video also I explained about this one. So individual needs are very important in human behavior and their performance. Motivation is nothing but a in a factor which is motivating us to fulfill or satisfy our individual needs. So overall the project management or overall the satisfaction of needs, individual needs directly or indirectly is the satisfaction of team needs as well as the organizational needs. And theories of motivation we are having one is Maslow, need hierarchy, ERG theory, it is not mentioned in our syllabus, as well as two-factor theory and uh, theory X, theory Y is not mentioned here and we will see that, okay. So theory of motivation was divided into, divided in accordingly two factors, according to the need and according to the cognitive approaches and uh, two-factor theory was designed in 1959 by Frederick Hesburgh and based on the 200 engineers and accountant feedback collected in USA regarding their personal feelings towards their work environment. Okay, so a theory or a analysis can be made based on the data which was collected was collected okay so in the corona virus also they are collecting the information of the tests which were conducted and based on that they are coming across with the mutations of the virus so this person has work Frederick has work collected the information from the engineers and accountants in USA about their feelings towards the work environment. As well defined two sets of factors in deciding employees working attitude and the level of performance. So the working attitude of the workers was divided in, divided into two factors. One is motivation, another one is hygiene factors. One is a motivation, another one is a hygiene. That's why this theory is called as a two-factor theory. The theory is based on interview with the one, two, not three accountants and engineers 
and because of their professions growing importance in the business world by as well so he take into account of two not three people's opinion about their work environment these subjects were asked to relate times when they felt exceptionally good or bad about their present job or any previous job and to provide reasons and description of the sequence of events giving rise to that positive or negative feeling okay google if you ask the employees who are working and you take the opinion poll of the people who are working with google they told that in the world itself we are very satisfied with the working culture of google so whenever the happiness index is calculated different different industries work working people and the people who are working with google they will get the highest point that is the survey and the reports published in the news news agencies and as well as the newspapers itself so here the esberg collected the information from 203 american accountants and engineers about the about the point at which point they felt good or bad about their present or previous jobs how why they felt and what is their opinion that is, that is uh, the information he collected and the states that there were certain factors in the job in the workplace that cause job satisfaction while a separate set of factors cause dissatisfaction when you are doing job both are uh, at a head and tail like a coin you okay, know satisfaction and uh, dissatisfaction in the at the workplace are about to work also so in two factor theory and he identified what are the factors which leads satisfaction and what are the factors which leads to dissatisfaction in the workplace that that's why it is so theory rests on two assumptions one is being satisfied with one job is equivalent to being motivated a satisfied worker is a motivated worker. exactly okay so a person that's why organizations are very give very much respect to the to their uh, uh, workers in the, in in payment of salaries in uh, arrangement of uh, amenities and in uh, uh, providing the facilities like that because they they made their workers satisfied which the worker can, may contribute more than that to the organization that's why a satisfied worker is a motivated worker who himself self motivated as well as motivate others also job satisfaction and dissatisfaction are separate concept with the unique determinants based on work with accountants and engineers okay job satisfaction is a very it's a in the satisfaction and dis dissatisfaction are two shapes of a coin itself which is the determine the determine by the either either engineers or the accountants their professions are quite different so satisfaction which is mostly affected by the motivator factors motivation factor helps to increase satisfaction but are not the effect on dissatisfaction okay so most of the satisfaction is uh, satisfaction factors will motivate the employee okay dissatisfaction factors are results the hygiene factors these are if uh, absent or inadequate cause of dissatisfaction but their presence has little effect dissatisfaction is the result of the hygiene factors these factors if absent are inadequate cause dissatisfaction but their presence has little effect on long term satisfaction okay dissatisfaction is also are there 
and their their impact on the satisfaction is having long term on satisfaction is a long term so determinants of job satisfaction are the motivating factors work itself responsibility so when you feel responsible and a responsible work was assigned to you which will give more satisfaction more satisfaction which is the one of the determinant of motivation recognition recognition in the sense giving promotion and giving authority giving the responsibility is also a factor which motivate and also helps in giving this satisfaction job satisfaction achievement achievement of job results or achievement of targets achievement of self actualization in the job itself so that is also a satisfaction okay a rocket was sent to moon sent and sent to moon if that project is achieved then imagine the satisfaction of the scientists collectively as well as individually who participated in that mission in the same manner you found a machine which you got the company patent rights and that is also achievement of company as a whole and individually for you itself so that is a gives a immense satisfaction to the employee which is motivation to the others also advancement promote uh, getting the more qualifications more technology enable technology enhancement and like that is also brings job satisfaction personal growth promotion as well as a promotion these are the factors which helps the individual in their job satisfaction and also motivate the employee and determine the job dissatisfaction or hygiene factors hygiene factors as well as job dissatisfaction pay benefits usually salary every year salary to be increased if it is decreased in a year then automatically they will get dissatisfaction dissatisfied dissatisfied they will get dissatisfaction that is having impact on satisfaction as well as a motivating factors of satisfaction and working condition you are given everything to the worker but you are not providing sufficient environment for executing the job so which leads to dissatisfaction and job security continuously people are working with the unsafe mode every day they are attending and they don't know whether my work will be getting permanent or permanent or not so that is a little bit dissatisfaction among the individual worker which is also have impact on their work which is hygiene factor quality of supervision quality of supervision suppose your the supervisor himself is not good the supervisor himself is not good and he is not guiding properly then automatically okay the person who is working under that will be get dissatisfaction company policy sometimes the companies will take a decision against against to the feelings of the workers and they may not execute that work or they may not uh, the employees thought that they were not in that part of work itself so that is then company sometimes um, will take against the interest of the workers interest of the employees but uh, indirectly or uh, indirectly with dissatisfaction only they will they will execute the policy itself okay so execute the work with the dissatisfaction company policy relationship with coworkers relationship with boss and relationship with the peers you you are the working environment is a group environment you have to mingle with the group 
if that uh, you are unable to adjust with the group then you don't uh, felt a satisfaction in the group work itself and in the same manner the healthy relationship should be kept in between boss and uh, subordinate that is a very happiest moment as well as a satisfaction if such a relationship is breached then automatically dissatisfaction is erupted okay these are the hygiene factors or dissatisfaction factors so theory distinguishes between motivation and hygiene factors two controversy okay na? motivators are the which give positive satisfaction arising from intrinsic conditions of the job itself such as recognition achievement and personal growth so motivators are motivating factors are recognition achievement and personal growth okay then hygiene factors are hygiene factors are salary which do not give positive satisfaction so these are dissatisfaction from their absence okay and these are extrinsic to the work itself and include aspects such as company policies already we discussed earlier okay one is uh, intrinsic another one is uh, extrinsic then husbacks two factor theory employees dissatisfied fed and unmotivated because of hygiene factors employees not dissatisfied but unmotivated then we have to use motivation factors which leads to employees satisfied as well as a motivated okay so hedgework theory is given two factors one is a motivators factors and the one is a hygiene factors when because due to the motivation factors then satisfaction will be increases and due to hygiene factors there is a possibility of a dissatisfaction first we have to identify the dissatisfaction factors and uh, we have to motivate them and by using by next we have to motivate them employees not dissatisfied but unmotivated we have to motivate them with the motivational factors automatically employees will be happy and motivated which is very good to the organization then the theory argue that two factor result is observed because it's a natural for people to take credit for satisfaction and blame to dissatisfaction on external factors why you are not working means because of oh, x person i am not working that is not why you are uh, okay um, you gave a good result because of my efforts so if it is reason for good you and reason for bad third party that is not good one okay and job satisfaction does not necessarily imply a high level of motivation or productivity some people are there even though they are enjoying with the very good culture in the job but they are not motivated as well theory has been broadly read and despite its weakness enduring value sees that true motivation comes from within a person okay so who is the motivator self motivator he is the person who motivate himself will get a good recognition so that is uh, regarding the as works two factor t then coming to the theory x and theory y given by mcgregor theory x and theory y given by mcgregor okay so mcgregor wrote a book on human side of enterprise in 60s he examined individuals behavior at work like uh, esberg collected the information from 203 engineers and accountants formula divided into two models one is uh, lower order hierarchy into lower order that is theory x and higher order theory y so he suggested two theories mcgregor is suggested two theories 
based on the individual behavior. These theories are based on human behavior in management and there is it concludes dual aspects of human being. Okay, there is one more aparachitru in human being. As the, as the person is a different uh, mentality or individuality of also there, I think he is telling like that. Okay, he suggested that management could use either set of needs to motivate. It, it in, in dual aspects are there. The, you can motivate the person as it is or you can use the person's internal motivator to motivate himself or so connect to the internal motivator to motivate the worker itself. Okay. That then come to the right. So management style is strongly influenced by beliefs and assumptions about what motives members of your team. Management style is strongly influenced by beliefs and assumptions. What motivates members of your team? Many factors are there to motivate an individual. We have to identify what are the factors which motivate our team. If you believe that team members dislike work, you will have an authoritarian style of management. Sometimes people comply, sir, why every day you are telling that to do this, do this, do this. And you are not leaving as a single minute itself. So then you give a break for them and ask them to, to do some funny things. Later you can, that's why management uh, and um, management high level people are uh, every time they are in the organizational strategy formation. So what they will do, they will ask them to leave, go leave on some foreign trips and like that to refresh themselves. Okay. On the other hand, if you assume that the employees take a pride in doing a good job, you will tend to adopt a more participation style. People are motivated. If they are doing good job, then you tend to adopt a more participation style. People Sir, we will work for our organization, then take the job from them itself. So now we are understanding the theories. Theory X, lower order. Theory Y is a higher order. Theory X assumes that the employees are naturally unmotivated and dislike working, and this encourages an authoritarian style of management. Okay. So in, intentionally people dislike work and people every time we have to motivate them for work. That will be the theory of X. Theory of X. So it encourages me. So authoritarian style of management. That's why we have to appoint a, a person, a capable person who is managed the group of people to motivate themselves and to make work with them. According to this view, management must actively intervene to get things done. That's why supervisor has to be appointed. The supervisor will review, give the work and review the work and, uh, and motivate them to do the work. It summarizes that workers need to be constantly watched and instructed what to do. That's why supervisor will move around the department with a, by taking a stick and he is pushing everybody. Pushing everybody what they are um, to about the work, about the work itself. So that is the theory X. Then coming to the theory Y. The assumption that employees dislike work are lazy dislike responsibility and uh, must be coerced to perform. The assumption that employees dislike work are lazy, must be coerced to perform. So characteristics of this theory are intolerant, distant and detached, aloof, arrogant, short temper, Issues, instructions and directions and edits. Threats to make people to follow instructions. Demands never 
demands, never asks, does not participate, does not team build, and unconcerned about staff welfare or morale. Proud sometimes to the point of self-destruction, one-way communicator, poor listener. Okay? The people, those who are fit in the theory X are having these characteristics. That is the assumption of McGregor. Okay? And theory Y. Now coming to the theory Y. Theory Y style will be quite uh, opposite to the theory X. Theory Y shows that a participation style of management that is decentralized, it assumes that employees are happy to work, self-motivated, creative, and enjoy working with greater responsibility. It is a, a very quiet against to the theory X. So, in an individual, we find two sides. One side he is dislike the work and also he is a likes the work. And he is a demotivator or he is a, he is a self motivator. Self motivator and enjoy working with the creator. It emphasizes that staff are self disciplined and would like to do the job themselves. That's why, so you need not to appoint a supervisor for them. They are uh, workaholic people and they are, they will mingle with the group and they themselves motivated, self-motivated and they have, they have a creative ideas. That is the theory why. And theory why, the assumption that employees like work are creative seek responsibility and can exercise self-direction. They themselves motivate themselves and uh, they, they are creative and responsible people. Okay, coming to the characteristics. The responsibilities take responsibility and are motivated to fulfill the goals they are given. They are self-motivated, consider work as a natural part of life and solve work problems imaginatively. They consider that work as a natural part of life. Exactly, we are receiving salary, we have to work. We are with the organization, we have to solve the problems. Assumes that the people seek fulfillment through work and willing to work hard. They enjoy the work and they enjoy the achievements. They enjoy the recognition as well as the responsibilities. These people are in an which is the characteristics of theory Y. In Y type organization, people at lower levels of the organizations are involved in decision making. So, organization will also, if identify such people, those who are self-motivated, creative, and uh, feel responsible, then they, they were taken to account in decision making. And characteristics of theory why people, those who are having the theory why self-motivated, responsible, participative in nature, give off, gives rewards and feedback, promotion, power to implement relations, very active, they are the listeners, good listeners, always they are happy, concerned about uh, staff welfare. Exactly, okay. These are the Qualities are characteristics of the people who comes under the theory Y, which is quite opposite to the theory X. Right. Comparison of theory X and theory Y. Look at the attitude. People dislike work, find it boring and will avoid if it is they can. They try to. The people are, uh, they, they don't work, they don't uh, like work. And they feel that working is bored and they are avoid to work. And here the theory why people are want to take an interest in it under the right conditions they can enjoy it. So theory why people attitude is they enjoy the work. Coming to the direction, people must be forced to or bribed to make the right effort. So every time you have to motivate them to do work. 
and you have to give soaps to complete or accomplish their work. I think. Okay. Then people. People of Y theory, a target that they accept. Okay, they themselves they are the self motivators. Theory Y people are the self motivators. They fit. They set their targets and accomplish their targets and achievements, and they enjoy their life as well as their uh, duty or job responsibility. People would rather be directed than accept responsibility, but they avoid. Okay, if it was given responsibility, they don't feel responsible. Okay? They don't feel feel responsible. So as they don't feel responsible, they don't accept responsibility also. But coming to the theory why people will seek and accept responsibilities under the right conditions. They feel they, that is their organization. They are they were paid, they have to work. Motivation, people are motivated mainly mainly by money and under the right conditions people are motivated by the desire and to realize their own potential. So that is the theory regarding the motivation. Creativity, look at that uh, creativity and genuinity I, are the widely distributed and grossly under, underused and in coming to the Period people, most people have little creativity except when it comes to getting wrong rules, getting to rules. This is the comparison. Okay? Then application of theory X and theory Y. Right. Theory X management style is widely accepted as inferior to others. It has its place in large scale production operations and unskilled production line work. Immature people, lower level people will feel like that. Okay, no? They will come under this uh, Theory X. Theory Y style management is suited to knowledge work and professional services. Even highly structured knowledge work such as call center operations can benefit from theory Y principles to encourage knowledge sharing and uh, continuous improvement. Okay, you people with the little motivation, you can motivate them for the higher levels, but the people doesn't understand about the motivation, responsibility, and that you can't. Even though you motivated them, you may not get good result. Okay, so at the large scale production. Operations most probably theory X qualities characteristics is possible with the unskilled production line workers or work and theory Y style of management is uh, for the skilled one and application of hierarchy needs to management and workload ineffective management and effective management once a need is met it no longer motivates behavior therefore only Unfulfilled needs are motivational. So, one motivation is money. We are paying the money every month, salary, but they were not motivated for other things. Okay? So, theory wise, motivational emphasis shifts to the social ego and self actualization since most of the employees have physical and safety needs met. Okay? So, they, these are the professionals, theory why. People are at the professionals, they need uh, to grow high levels. That's why they work hard and uh, they accomplish their goals. 
So th though these theories are very basic in nature, they provide a platform for future generations of management uh, theories and practitioners to understand the changing dynamics of human behavior. Okay. So either uh, look at the Maslow, aggregate, aggregate, Hedgework, or this person McGregor. These people studied it. These people collected the information of the workers about their satisfaction and developed different personalities put in, in front of us to understand and uh, know about the personalities which are work, which are in the nature of uh, management. So according to the personalities, we change the we change our behavior and try to change the behavior of uh, others. Magrigas XY theories remain guiding principle to the management to evolve process which help in organizational development. This principles as theory X lower order, theory Y higher order principle will be help the organization for development. Okay. Thank you students. So please go through the video and subscribe and press like. Bye.